Hey everybody, Roger Levin here with your Ortho Practice Production Pearl of the Week. There's a concept in the business world called net revenue retention. Now the concept is really related to customer behavior. How well do you keep your customers? And what is happening in the business world with net revenue retention is they're looking at how much revenue you retain from a customer in a one year period. And the hope is that it's over 100% because you will lose some customers in the business world. We'll get to ortho in a moment, uh, but you will also gain new customers. Now, ortho has a very desirable, coveted position because once you put braces on people or you put aligners in mouths, it's very unlikely they're going to leave you. They've got a contract in most cases. They might have paid a down payment. They're making their monthly payments. You're chasing them for their monthly payments. But overall, you'll probably retain the high percentage of your patients. You'll lose some that move out of town. You might lose one here or there that stops paying or is unhappy, but you should be pretty close to 100% net revenue retention. And that is a beautiful thing to be thankful for because it means right now, at least for the next 12 months to 24 months, your net revenue retention will be really good. Although, let's assume just for a moment, the cases typically go 24 months. I know many are 18, some are faster, but let's just use that as an example. Well, what it means is at the one year mark, at 12 months, if you don't have enough new patients coming in and the patients leaving you, uh, are greater than the patients coming in in revenue, then your net revenue retention will decline. So why am I bringing all this up? Ortho is going through a lot of competition. In the business world, competition always grows. You show me any normal product and I'll show you every year, five, 10, 100, 300 new competitors of different kinds coming out to compete with that product. In ortho, we're gonna have a lot of different competitive factors as we go forward. And one of the earliest ways to determine are you being affected by competition is your net revenue retention. Because in the example, assuming most patients go 24 months, in that example, it's at 12 months that you need to really understand is your net revenue retention over 100%, at 100%, or dropping below 100%. Which one do you think you don't want? Obviously, dropping below 100%. And if you wanna grow, you don't want it at 100%. Growth means that you're exceeding that 100% number, giving you an opportunity to grow because your influx of new patients is greater than your completion or finishing of current patients. As always, I wish you increased practice production and referrals every year. And I'll see you next week.